Hello, and welcome to Low Fidelity. I'm Kevin Seal. This is a music game show. It's a quick draw game. You buzz in with the buzzer word of your choice. There's no studio. We're all at our homes because we're socially distanced. There's no way to study for this game as you've been studying for it your whole life. Uh, tonight's musical guest is the Shelter Jam crew, and we'll hear more from them later. But first, let's meet our contestants. Ivan Record has played bass in the band Mean Maxine, drums in the punk band Stale, and sung in the Porno Pimp Dads and Groove Snack. Currently, he plays drums and sings harmonies in the Swingins. He lives in Bloomington, Indiana. Welcome, Ivan Record. Hello. Very good to have you here. Thank you. Rob McCormick is Ivan's bandmate in the Swingins. The two of them make up the Swingins. He's played bass in a myriad of bands over the years, including the U Station Agents. He moved all over the country as a military son until age 12 when he landed in the Midwestern idyllic oasis of Bloomington, Indiana, where he has lived ever since. Rob McCormick, so glad to have you on the show. Hello. And I'd like to introduce the two of you to the best co-host this side of the Danube, Christopher John Fortier. Christopher. Well, hello, delighted, excited. Um, so oftentimes we have contestants who I've met before. I'm excited to have uh, contestants we have not met. I'm sensing a nature show theme today. And uh, bearing that in mind, uh, I'm going to give some of my commentary today in the voice of David Attenborough. Uh, and uh, let's begin. The lynx uses its innate sense of stealth to stalk the wild rabbit. The rabbit is not so easily dispatched. The lynx hovers as if in suspended animation to hypnotize the rabbit into a false sense of security. And given that, I would like to inspire you both to play good, play hard, and play low fidelity. Kevin, what should we do next? Um, I, I appreciated that Attenborough. That was a solid Attenborough. Um, Thank you very much. Well done. Yeah. I've been working on my Attenborough. The next thing we do is we get the buzzer words from Rob and from Ivan. Rob, what is your buzzer word going to be? Kevin, my buzzer word is flakes sung a la Frank Zappa going flakes flakes. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From the Chic Your Booty LP I believe. Yeah, yeah. Ivan? Mine is similar. It's it's a uh, doo y kind of thing a la Zappa but it's an inside joke with Rob and I and it's dumpy duck. <laughs> All right. Flakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. and we have dumpy duck. We have flakes. And we have our first category, which is finish it. I start the lyric, you finish it. First one. Riding through dust clouds in barren wastes, galloping hard on the plains, chasing the Redskins back to their holes, fighting them at their own game, murder for freedom, the stab in the back, women and children are cowards attack. Flakes, flakes. Rob. Run to the hills. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Run to the hills, Iron Maiden. Did that sound yeah. shitty enough for us? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounded <laughs> brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. could work on more shitty. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next lyric. And Harry doesn't mind if he doesn't make the scene. He's got a daytime job. He's doing all right. You can play the honky tonk like anything, saving it up for Friday night. Uh, Dumpy Duck. I haven't given it. Sultan, that's Sultan's a swing. Tiger Straits, Sultan's a swing. You are correct. Okay, how about this one? And this I know, his teeth as white as snow. What a gas it was to see him. Walk her every day into a shady place. With her lips, she said, she said, Paul, hey, Paul, hey, Paul, let's have a ball. Paul, hey, Paul, hey, Paul, let's have a ball. Paul, hey Paul, hey Paul, let's have a ball. Mm. Super familiar, but I'm going with um, Jesse Jackson. Mm. Duppy Duck, Jesse Jackson. Was that, boy, was, was that boys to men? That was not. That was not. <laughs> that was Pixies. Gigantic. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. Now that you say it, I'm embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, though, I think you'll get. 
All right. Well, me and Kyle, we looked at each other, and we each said, okay. And we played the first thing that came to our heads, just so happened to be. I'll give you a hint. The Kyle he's talking to, he also refers to as KG. Uh, I've got nothing. That's, um... Buzz in, please. Um. Buzzer. All right, yeah. Uh. What? No, I, I wasn't. I was. I would have buzzed in if I knew it for sure. The best song in the world. It was the best song in the world. That'd be tribute by Tenacious D. Oh! I knew it was Tenacious D, but I was like, mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. The last in the category. Hail. My, my, the clock in the sky is pounding away, and there's so much to say. A face, a voice, an overdub has no choice, and it cannot rejoice. Wants uh, it to be... Flakes, flakes! Rob, what do you got? That's the Porpoise song by the Monkees. Um, I, uh, <laughs> Finish the lyric, and you're there. Oh, oh, I screwed up and didn't realize what the last words you said were. I, I can get to the end of the line where I was going to be and then take it from there. Okay. Wanting to be, to hear and to see, crying to the sky. And the porpoise is laughing goodbye. That's right. Hey! That's right. The porpoise is laughing goodbye, goodbye. That was a little goodbye. deep. That was a little deep cut. Yeah, man. We knew you could get those deep cuts. <laughs> that was written by well, Carol King. Yeah. Yeah. Carol King wrote the Porpoise song. Probably my favorite monkey song. It's a great song. Great song. I, I'm going with Circle Sky. Circle, Circle Sky's, Sky's great too. Great. Same album. Yep. Daily Nightly I also like a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with that, Christopher takes the next category. Oh, right. And that's great because it means I get another opportunity to Attenborough. The bear's claws and teeth can't penetrate her thick hide. With the th herd returning to water, the bear must act quickly to play. Name that tune. And when we play Name That Tune, uh, it's really very simple. I play a song, be the first one to name it. Kevin will play a song, be the first one to name it. We're gonna do four of these. Uh, <laughs> Here's the first one. I'm gonna give you a little clue. First one's easy, second one's hard. First one goes like this. Okay, that would be um, Lucy in the Sky, the Beatles. Yeah. That's, that's correct. Yep. Yep, that's yep. right. I don't know why it took me so long. <laughs> uh, me so like me either. <laughs> it just sounded so pretty. I just wanted to keep going. Um, okay, next one is to me. Here comes your song. Problem. I know it's the cars. I can't remember what the song title is. Um, uh, Play subterfuge. Delay our mm. our honk. Um, it's okay. It's it's a great car song. How about that? I can't remember the song title. Uh. Ivan, it goes to you. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah. I. I can recognize the cars too, but Rob's more of a cars expert. Yeah, 
Yeah, hit me. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, did you just say it? Unfortunately. Yeah, moving in stereo. Damn it, moving in stereo. Yep, like yep, one yep. second, one second too late. Yep, yep, yep. Back you know what's awesome is that I could have never gotten that. Could I get a point five <laughs> points out of that? Could I get like a half a point? Half a point? Oh well. Nope. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. It's all right. You got another. You got two more chances to name that tune. Here's one that you might enjoy a lot. I'm going to introduce a drum component, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm giving this to you, Ivan. Sorry? Mm. I'm giving this to Ivan. Mm. Just because, Ivan just because I, I think you should know what it is. Oh. We'll nope. play it again <laughs> if you like. Do it again. Uno más. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the half point again. Flakes, yeah. flakes, <laughs> flakes, flakes. So I think it's heads, 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 but yeah, heads off of the album '77, but I can't remember the damn song title, just like the other song. I even know the album it's off of. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> All awesome things that you know, however, and I will uh, quote David Byrne from uh, the name of the band is The Talking Heads. Name is the song is New Feeling. That's what it's about. New Feeling. Yep, yep, yep. Harsh. Okay. It's cruel and unusual punishment. This is cruel and <laughs> unusual punishment. Here comes our last one. That would be a uh, closing song from Tommy by The Who, We're Not Gonna Take It. Also would have accepted Listening to You, which sometimes they, they call it. Yep. The finale of Tommy. Okay. And on that note, it's time if for our musical that, guest. If you had played that entire song, I would have never got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's entirely fair. But yeah, that is. Um, we've got our musical guest tonight. Musical guest tonight comes to us courtesy of Christopher Dale McGrew, Chris McGrew uh, of Griddle and of Wally's Hideout. Uh, this is a project that he played on during the quarantine. This is the uh, the Shelter Jam Crew. Take it away, Shelter Jam Crew.
All right, Shelter Jam crew, thank you. Good to have right you. Right on, you guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our next category, and right now, Rob's ahead by a couple points, but it's easily within Ivan's reach. Ivan can come back. There are a lot of points to be had in these next two categories. First one is triple tag, and this is how it works. I give you the names of three albums, and you tell me the artist who recorded those albums. Okay, here goes. America Must Be Destroyed, Scum Dogs of the Universe. Duffy Duck. Ivan, you go. That's, that's Guar. That is Guar. And the I just paid you back on the Beatles. Yep, that yeah. is Guar. Wait, they're all, I, I didn't know that all three albums would be the same artist. That's oh, not yeah. fair. Yeah, I want to see it right three, off the bat. Albums, and you tell me what artist recorded those okay, albums. Okay, I thought there was going to be multiple artists on those albums. Okay. That's okay. Uh, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. Gave him the point. Gave him yeah, the point. You're, you're still yeah. me. This is the first time that Rob's ever beaten me without me requesting it. Yeah, I'm just making yep. this face because I am so embarrassed. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. yep. Next set of albums, all by the same artist: Heaven and Hell, Technical Ecstasy, Mob Rules. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's Rob. Rob. That's it. Black Sabbath. Yeah, that is Black Sabbath. Yes. Presence, Coda. In through the outdoor. Oh, that's uh, Dumpy Duck. That's um, Ivan. Take Led, it. That's Led Zeppelin. That is Led Zeppelin. Got a one point game. Obscured by clouds, a saucer full of secrets. Adam Hart, mother. Dumpy Duck. Ivan. That's, that's some Pink Floyd, baby. That is some Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. Mosquito. It's Blitz. Show your bones. That's a Rob band. No, it ain't. <laughs> Those are album names I do not, I am not familiar with. That would be the yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. burned, Ivan, burned. Uh, that totally burned, yeah. No fever to tell in there, that's me. <laughs> Freaky Styly, Uplift. Uh, 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 duck, it's duck. Like... duck. Ivan, you got it. That's uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. That is Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uncle Meats. <laughs> Frank Zappa. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drama. Tormato. Going for the one. Thanks. That would be, that'd be yes. That would be yes. Last in the category. Bride of the Devil. How dare you. Fresh blood for tired vampires. Yeah, that's got to be you. I wouldn't listen to anything it's, called it's that. It's almost certainly something that I would like, but I don't yep. know those album names. I pass. Uh. Electric Six. Oh, those the are Rob recent album. albums. That ain't cool. Yeah, those are recent <laughs> albums. That ain't cool. The recent yeah. albums. <laughs> Electric Six. Mm -hmm. We gauge recent by decades. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> yep. And with that... I pass it back to Christopher for TA. Uh, awesome. Uh, as you may or may not have noticed, I have um, the amazing David Attenborough overlooking this one. And as a result, he will introduce the game. It goes like this. The abundance of krill attracts other visitors to the peninsula in the summer. Antarctic minky whales. Their pointed heads and short dorsal fins give them speed and endurance to play Record Reveal. I'm gonna reveal a series of album covers. First person to recognize that album cover, buzz in. Kevin will monitor your buzzing in. And uh, here's the first one. Starting now, I need to keep talking so the camera stays on me because, as you know, I may be just a little bit of a oh, uh, you know, what? I need to get rid of David Attenborough, is what I need you to do. do. Hold on, yeah, All we'll edit this part will out. be David Attenborough, self titled. It's we'll go. No. amazing exactly. that he's willing to eat the album. Uh, 
So we're going to start with the first record reveal here. And the first one looks entirely like this. I'm going to keep talking so that you continue to see me. Dumpy Duck. Man, Rob, that's, a, that's Pink Floyd. Uh, mm. ooh. Oh. Oh. Right, no, it's Rob. I, I have no idea. I didn't see. I didn't get. It. I actually I, think I know what it is. I, I don't effed know what up. it is. I, oh, I, that I, was Rob. Cool. I, I saw right, someone so sitting down at a at a we'll bar or something. Okay. And here we go. And here we go. And here we go. You might as well just do all the way out. I got nothing. All right. That's Zeppelin. Uh, that right? is Led Zeppelin's yeah. In Through the Outdoor yeah. LP. That was the uh, final studio release prior to the death of John Bonham, uh, 1979. And there, are, there are for, dozens of people looking at me saying, how the hell did you not get that? What no, for future do? reference, if I say Pink Floyd, what I meant was Led Zeppelin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, From here on out. Yeah. Yeah. The funny part about that record is there are actually three different record covers for that record, um, which is all the same pose taken from three different camera angles. And so if you bought the record as a collector, you had to buy so many copies to get it. Hmm. Um, but neither here nor there, here is number two in record reveal. And I'm going to keep talking so that you see these beautiful eyes here. Oh. And they're Yikes. looking back at you. Rob. So that's obviously David Bowie and I, uh, Guessing it was a space out of the LP, maybe. Uh, oh, Ooh, okay. Ivan goes to you. All right, I'm going to wait for more of a reveal. Mm -hmm. Um, God, Did Christopher, say something. I would have gone with space oddity too. Um, okay. Oh, uh, please to say something. Mm, camera on to you. Um. Christopher, say something. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, that is Young Americans. That mm. is Young Americans featuring oh. guest appearances by John Lennon and a young Luther Vandross. Ivan, we need to hang up our shingle, man. We're done. I know. <laughs> uh, cool. Record reveal number three. Here it goes. Uh, maybe this is easy. Maybe this is hard. I don't even know. But it looks like a contact sheet. Thanks. Robin. And what do we got? That is Yes, the Yes album. That, that is, is correct. The Yes album, the third studio LP for Prog Legends, Yes, and the first to feature Steve Howe on guitar. Love that album. Uh, Me too. Number four, number four. Let's go with magical number four. Nothing magical about the number four. No one ever talks about it. But here's number four. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? I'm guessing it's the Who, but I don't know what album, so I'm not going to go Please in there. Please buzz in. in. <laughs> well, Dumpy Duck, it's the Who, but. Uh, <laughs> Dumpy Duck, it's the Who. Yeah, Dumpy Duck, it's the Who. Um, you get a wild guess. If you said Dumpy Duck, you get a wild guess for a Who record. Um, no penalties for guessing. Uh, Jesse Jackson. That's my go-to. Uh, okay. That would be the Quadrophenia LP. Quadrophenia, okay. 1973, the second rock opera by The Who. Um, last but not least in the record reveal category, uh, this one has a unique distinction as also being from a comedy book. The album art is from a comedy book, and it looks like this. Oh, uh, Dumpy Duck. Yep. What do you got? There's a ship arriving too late to save a drowning witch. Frank Zappa. First Frank Zappa record where he gets a co-writing uh, experience with his daughter, Moon Unit, the hit single, Valley Girl. And that will be record re revealed for today. Kevin, what's going on now? Oh, Rob has seven. Ivan has six. There's a Very one, tight game. Point, one point gap between you. It's so close. Yeah, I think that's actually the length of our genitals, too. So we'll see if we, if we can push past that. Uh, I'm the seven. Yeah, I, clearly. Yeah. yeah. 
I want to make sure that. Yeah, I, I, I understand. For the record. For the record. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've seen this film. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nipomaniac. Right. Final category. For all the marbles, either of you could take this because it's a point for each thing that you come up with for this. Each example. Get your paper, get your pen or pencil. This is Helter Shelter. <laughs> Category for this one, songs, specifically songs that mention food. Some item of food, any item of food. Let's start the clock. Christopher here. I've switched off my microphone feed to the contestants. So you and I get to uh, chat briefly here from the home office in Sitka, Alaska. Food songs. Love them. Led Zeppelin has a lot of food songs. Custard pie, balloon song, tangerine, hot dog. That's the first thing that comes screaming to mind. Also, there's a million songs specifically about sugar. You don't even need me to detail them. The one that I really hope comes up, and I'm just going to say right now that they're going to get an extra point if they come up with, yes, we have no bananas. Oh, i got to give them a warning. Hold on. Ten seconds. All right. Uh, looks like we're about done here in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Pencils down. All right. All right, let's go to Rob first. Rob, what did you come up with? In so, uh, my list is going to be utterly disappointing uh, because I I was fixated, um, uh, I was fixated on the Tenacious D song "Kilbasa" and couldn't come up with anything else. <laughs> Literally, couldn't come up with anything else. I just started singing it in my head, and I couldn't think of any other foods except for that delicious kielbasa sausage. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Because it basically means that Ivan probably just won this game, uh, but there's at least one point. Yeah, kielbasa fixation leads to uh, uh, to it. Yeah, that, that I, I get how that happens. Catchy song, catchy song. Kielbasa yeah, it ruined the game for me, by the way. <laughs> Ivan, record. All right, you. I got it. mine's not that impressive, but it's slightly more impressive than Rob. So I'm kielbasa? going. With, I'm Your going, kielbasa I, I'm, sausage is I'm more taking impressive. O I'm taking over seven inches. Um, <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, Savoy Truffle. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, cheeseburger in Paradise. Right on. Now, I don't know about food, but judges can guess. Uh, pina, or judges can say, Pina Colada. That does Do you work like Pina ask. Colada? Okay. Judges say yes to that. Yeah, she, coconut and pineapple. In it. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's my cherry pie. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I smell sex and candy in here. Mm -hmm. Of course. He's a food motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And uh, Meat Sandwich by Guar. Yeah. Judges say yes for all. Yeah. What? Yeah. This is my resting Kermit face. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that, with a very successful showing in Helter Shelter, Ivan Record accelerates into victory. Congratulations, Ivan. Well played. Well played. Good Thank job. you. I encourage everyone at home to check out their band, The Swingins, on Bandcamp. Um, and thank you both for playing. Uh, you all were great. Thanks, guys. That was fun. <laughs> thank you to our director, Jill, Jillian Nash. Thanks, uh, Jill. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Roger Gardner, who's off camping. Uh -huh. Camping, Roger. Uh, thank you to Jay Lee, who produces the show. To Kimo Ball, who writes the original music to Christian Santos, who makes the graphics, to Sheldon Ruth, who does the YouTube magic. And am I forgetting anyone, Christopher? Thank you to Christopher Chris. Cordier. Oh, thanks, buddy. And yeah, let's I'm... actually thank Chris McGrew and... Uh... Chris McGrew, thank you. Chris McGrew and the Shelter Jam crew. That's exactly what they were called. Yeah. Right on. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, Alex Cooley, the fabulous Fox Theater, and the great city of Peoria. <laughs> Amen. And what about David Attenborough? Oh, 
Thank you, David Attenborough. Sure, David. In fact, I have one more Attenborough to let you go with, and it goes like this. Standing well over a meter tall, the shoebill roams these swamps, a giant prehistoric looking bird trying to catch catfish. Today, she is not so fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks awesome. for playing, everybody. Thanks for playing. Until next time. Thanks, you guys. Stay awesome. home. Stay safe. Keep it low-fi.